while we finished those drives this morning. <clears throat> Saw a couple tails. We drove some public land for three or four hours. Took turns. There wasn't a whole lot going on. Ron had to go to work. He worked second shift. And Blaze decided he's going to wait till tomorrow morning to come up the mountain. So he's just going to chill out for the evening. So I'm all by myself. I decided to try something new. Come up the mountain. Brand new public land spot. Followed a little bit of signs, some good heavy trails. A small rub there, some trails. heavy trail right here in a funnel system and right over there is a finger comes off into a point down to the bottom where it flattens out and on the other side of that finger is another funnel and then it goes up into another clear cut looks like a pretty good setup for an evening hunt so we'll see what happens I'm just sitting on the edge of these choppings I'm about 300 yards from the road, up the mountain. It's a beautiful, crisp evening. Let's see if anything comes through. Well, that was pretty cool. I just had a Chinook come down through between the two mountains, flying pretty low. Hope it comes back up through, that was pretty neat looking. I don't make any promises, but I hope we can get some meat in the freezer, that's for sure. Oh, that was crazy. And I'm out of bullets. I heard a shot about a half mile up the mountain. Oh, I'm shaking, sorry. I had four buck come down, right down the, that funnel down there and over there in front of me. I shot, but I couldn't tell if I hit. So two buck came running over this way towards me. I was sitting up on top of that knuckle right there. Came over and I got another shot. Oh, I can't stop shaking. I gotta call Ron. Dude, I got him. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm sure it's the, the original one I was shooting at. I have to go double check, dude. I, I just came down over the crest of this hill and I saw him laying there and I'm shaking profusely. I don't know if my brother's home. I can call my brother. No, my brother's not home. I'm on my way. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll just, I'll get there. Okay. See ya. freezer. What a beautiful buck. Oh. Oh. Ron's on his way. He got a ride to me. He's leaving work. My son-in-law Blaze is also on his way. Oh, this is great. Thank you. 
this usually doesn't happen, but when those four bucks come running down together, they were all bunched together right around here. I just wanted to come over here and make sure that I shot at the same buck to get him down. Ooh, that was crazy. I heard a shot up the top of the mountain. Up the top of the mountain that way. And they came running down through here. And they just kind of slowed down right here. And got into in behind some of these trees right here. So I got a phone call. Bill got his buck in a spot I like to hunt. Uh, where we can catch him maybe to eat some chops. And uh, as I'm coming in, I left work and we're walking in. We get about 50 yards from where I was and his son-in-law Blaze cracks one off. Standing over the other buck. Hear another one come on down about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes after Bill got his. Meat in the freezer, we're getting late in the season, you know? So, what's that, buddy? Look behind that corner, there's a tree stop. Yo, he said while well, that them deer came up, they weren't going down, they were coming up. He said they were coming up, they walked into draw there, he shot and it ran up. I wasn't out, I wasn't out here hunting. He called me out here. Oh, oh, oh! He just came down because he he went over to the house, thought you were going there so him to, he could bring you down. Yeah. So had I not said just go, you wouldn't have been here till you get that chance. No. Hey, what, man? It's pretty freaking awesome. I don't even have to drag my own deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looked at me. He said, Blaze, get shot. I said, that was up further. He's like, no, that was Blaze. I said, who's up there? He goes, Blaze. Where's the heart? Oh, shoot. I almost forgot the heart. Forget the heart. That worked out pretty good this evening, guys. I really appreciate all the help.